Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about the Samsung Bespoke Microwave. Yeah, I, I'm on this huge Samsung kick and I am doing everything Samsung. So we've moved from the refrigerator now to the microwave and after that it'll be the range underneath and we wanted to be ready for the range because we want this microwave and range to work together and the Samsung Bespoke line will do that for you. Before we get started, if you're into tech hi-fi or movies, be sure to push the subscribe button for new weekly videos. Now to level set, I want to shout out Lowe's. They sent this microwave over for the review and I used them with their whole ordering and installation process to get this one installed. So I didn't do this one myself. I don't really like tackling uh, the installation of microwaves or really dishwashers. So I ordered this on the Lowe's website. I used their installation services. They sent out an installer and they had this thing installed in gosh, maybe 15 minutes max. They took out the old one, installed this one, absolutely no problems. Everything fit perfectly and it looks really, really good. So if you're considering this purchase, make sure to take a look at Lowe's and see if they have the right price for you. Now, this thing goes anywhere from $499 to $630, just depending if it's on sale. I would look at it at the $500 and lower price if you can find it, because that does represent a pretty good savings. And this is their top of the line microwave. It comes in both the white glass and a stainless steel. So this will match pretty much anything that you have in your kitchen. Now we are doing white glass in all of our Samsung appliances. So this looks really, really good and matches perfectly. Now let's talk about the tech specs and there are really two that are important. One is the power, it's a thousand watts. So it's gonna be able to cook pretty much anything you put inside of it. And then the second is the size. And let's talk about the internal size and the actual size of the unit. The unit is a standard over the range size. So we were able to pull out our old unit. This one fit in exactly. I think this is actually just slightly shorter. So we're gonna to have to uh, touch up on the, uh, the tile underneath, but it wasn't taller, that would have been a problem, right? Because then you're going to be cutting tile. Now on the inside, uh, it's 2.1 cubic feet, uh, holds pretty much anything that you can think of uh, that you want to get inside of the, uh, the unit. And it also has a standard turntable on the inside as well. So you get the spinny both ways uh, as things cook. Let's talk a little bit about the outside of the unit. So the whole front of the unit is glass. That means it's very easy to clean, but it will pick up fingerprints, right? Um, the handle is recessed on the side, but when you touch, you will pick up fingerprints. Now they wipe off easily, but they will be there. So that's something to keep in mind if you're concerned about that kind of thing. Another item that's really nice are the auto dimming buttons. So the entire UI for this unit is here. All you can see now is the date and time. But if you give them a touch, they'll light up. Now, if you want them to turn off, all you have to do is hit stop and everything goes off, including uh, the date and time. So it gives you a completely black face on the unit when this is idle. Now let's talk about the underside of the unit. There are three things that you wanna understand here. So the filter pushes and opens, and that's easy to get to. Underneath here, you also have your fan, your vents, and your lights. So let's go ahead and turn the lights on. And this is uh, high light, low light, and then we're back to off. You've also got your vent fans on the bottom. This is on the boost or the highest setting. And then you can step through with the front control. High, mid, low, and then off. Now let's talk about the UI a little bit. So if we start on the left and work our way to the right, you've got your light and your fan control. Then you've got six different automatic cooking services. You've got popcorn, reheat, defrost, sensor cook, auto cook, and keep warm. You can select these. And then in your menu, you'll have different options. So you can go to reheat and then you could select casserole or you use your left and right and you go to dinner, plate, pasta, click okay. And then you'll be able to start that. And if you ever wanna stop, you simply hit stop once to pause and then, and then stop again to cancel the cook. In the middle, you've got your display, you've got your numbers so you can easily set time, your navigation left and right for uh, the different cooking modes. Uh, settings are important. So you can set your turntable, timer, etc. So there are many inside of here. Um, you can exit back out with the return button. And if you simply wanna add 30 seconds to cook, you hit that and hit the start and it will start. Now let's move to the inside of the microwave. You can see there's a nice blue enamel finish. You have your turntable. The door easily opens with a pull. It's got two latches here. 
And then also is your cheat sheet. So if you forget what all of the different options are for those six different cooking options that I showed you on the front, you can come here and check out defrost by weight, sensor cook by potato, pizza, uh, and uh, veggies. This will allow you to just place food inside, select the type and hit cook, and then it will automatically know when it's done magically, right? So that's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to trust that, but it does work um, even for frozen dinners. It's got auto cook for home desserts, fit choice, kids meal snacks, and soften or melt as well. The last item that I want to talk about, and the one that I think is the most interesting to me, because it's just it just goes beyond a basic microwave functionality, are the smart features, right? So there's a QR code here on the front, and this will allow you to easily add this into smart things. And if you use the Samsung ecosystem of devices, and Samsung is really big on the ecosystem, right? So all of their stuff works better together, and the microwave is not a, an exception. It works really well with the range. Um, so once you get this added into smart things, you can use this uh, controller, right? Your SmartThings controller on your tablet or your phone to send commands to the microwave. You can check on its current status, see if there are any problems. Um, you can set up the Wi-Fi, and this will also allow you to integrate this with your range so that when you start cooking on your range, you can automatically turn on your lights, you can automatically turn on your fan. So those pieces work together as a whole to make the entire cooking operation inside of your kitchen a little bit easier. Now, we've been using this microwave for mm, coming on a month now, and we've had zero problems. It's worked really well. The kids use it, we use it. Um, we cook, I don't know, maybe 30% of our food in the microwave. So for us, it's a really big contributor to the entire productivity of our kitchen. Um, and we really like the aesthetic, and we really can't wait till we get the, uh, the range uh, as well so that we can integrate that in, have the same aesthetic, and then have the pieces work together. So we absolutely love the unit. We again want to thank Lowe's for sending this over. We'll have links down below to Lowe's if you want to pick this up yourself. I highly recommend checking it out. Find it when it's on a sale and it becomes a super duper buy. Now if you've liked this video, there'll be others. I'll have one link down here in the corner. Check that one out. I think you'll like it too. Remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all those things, and I'll see you in the next video.